Hello YouTube, this is Marauders here and today we're gonna talk about the Windows 8.1 with Bing uh, or more specifically we're gonna talk about how well Windows 8.1 runs with only 1 gig of RAM <clears throat> excuse me now this is because now there are a, lot, a few devices that are coming out and they are also already available some of them are already available in the market they are they are they are extremely cheap low cost windows tablets so in order to keep the cost down the memory space is they only have one gig of uh, mem working memory so from that one gig you can see that there's actually only 852 meg that's actually usable and of course a lot of people are under so exactly how well can you use windows with only one gig of ram and and to a lot of people who are considering Devices like the Toshiba Anchor Mini, the the new H, newly announced HP Streams, the Acer AW. This is a very very important question. How well does Windows actually work with one gig of RAM? So let's take a quick look at it, and I'll just I'll run you through some usage usage scenarios, and we'll see the results. Now first of all let's take a look at our task manager first and we can see that memory wise it's using we have like uh, it's already in use of 510 max so there's only a, it's already consumed 60 60% of memory so technically we only have about well 300 megabytes of RAM left and uh, so that's going to be interesting to see what we can actually do with this and without further ado, let's run into uh, let's run through some typical usage scenarios of the of when you're using Windows. So first of all, the obvious one of the things that you will most likely do in this is that you will want to edit a word document. So I'm just got a sample here. So it's a fairly complicated word document. Has a lot of graphics and charts. Let's do some editing. Blah blah blah. Okay, so no biggie. That's still fine and dandy here. Let's zoom out a bit. So you can see there's some lag when it's loading, but uh, that's of course to be expected since remember we only have one gig of RAM. Now, after a while of working in Word, let's say you want to go take a look at your Excel spreadsheets. So here I have an Excel chart. And again, there's nothing much here. You can see there's some. I'm gonna just try to scroll it up and down. Then you can see that there's just some. It maybe pops and jerks a bit. Let's see what can I do here. Um, I just got this off uh, the Excel template, so I am not sure where can I actually edit the value. Equal if error. Okay, so annual income um, eighty thousand. Let's let's cause it to do some calculation. Okay, so you can see that the well, it's running, is it working? And um, I guess the chart should change as well. And uh, current age of twenty five. Okay, so you can see that as I change the values the chart is still moving around and well processing is happening so okay let's open up another chart so I'm gonna open up a vacation planner 
and this is another multi spreadsheet chart that's coming out from the templates not that I have time for vacation so blah 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 just simply edit values so that's still working as you can see I'm really just working through stuff like just like normal no difference I, I, I haven't done anything in that and then the how about bring up a PowerPoint so this is one of the presentations I did okay and you can do and again there's nothing wrong here everything is still working like you expect it to be and of course I can still jump in between the app the other apps okay let's let's say I want to insert the picture here into the PowerPoint so I'll just copy it and I will put it back in so give me a new slide I shall paste the picture in here works as expected now for our workload test let's just quickly bring up task manager and see what is the memory usage and if we look so we're now hovering at 81% of usage consum memory consumption but as you can see if you're doing office work it's still working pretty well it, it's your there if you're scrolling very fast through a document or something you there might be some lag as it as it tries loading it but other than that it it works as expected you get it lags for a bit when it's uh, when it's doing a page file swap but still works so it, it, it can work one gig of RAM isn't really a bother when you're actually just running applications for and you can still do a, quite a lot of things for example I'm gonna bring in my the web browser here so I have uh, the Metro IE snapped and I can still just like two two Internet Explorer so I'll just click on one video here and let's just what do we have here um, okay so um, let's click on this hello YouTube this is Marauders here and I've just been recently I can see that there is some lag here I can't actually bring out the charms bar anymore as this page is loading but of course this is watching two YouTube videos is obviously not something you would do of course watching two YouTube videos is not something you would do normally anyway and actually this browser decided to die just now this window has died because it wasn't going to it didn't actually succeed it restarted so let's see what happens again we try again okay so now you can see that we have we have a possible scenario here we have two videos running on YouTube and the browser is still working everything still works so if we browse around the main thing that you will notice is again every now and then Windows is gonna lag a bit and it'll, it'll, it'll stop a bit as it's trying to as it's trying to change your page file as it's trying to cache values from the swap file in the disk but other than that if you can keep up put up with that since after all the the cost wise these these are very cheap tablets if that's really if cost is really your consideration 
the one gig of RAM is actually okay. Windows will run pretty well with one gig of RAM. You don't have to worry about that. There is actually another problem. So as I was saying just now, the there there isn't any real issue with running Windows with one gig of RAM. If you are uh, if you if you just do everything reasonably, I would say as long as you're not running a game, trying to run a game and run Word at the same time, you should be fine. But let's talk about the real issue here. The problem is that some of these low cost tablets come with only 16 gigs of storage space. Now out of that 16 gigs of storage space, what you get is you get only about, if you can see here, this there's only like 9.45 gig free and that's really not a lot that's very very little now out of that 9 out of that 9.4 gigs of the of, of your system drive when i first got this this tablet i only had about 5 gigs of space free then after which when i installed Office 365 which came free with the tablet and because I had no choice in selecting what office components to install it basically just installed the full full selection of the Office Pro suite so uh, that took up another that took up another uh, 2.8 gig and I, what I did so I ended up with only only 2.5 gigs free then after which I installed Steam to do the usual Dota 2 test and I had only 1.9 gig left then after after which I tried to install a uh, I tr installed Spartan Assault to test out the Metro ga modern UI game performance and I was left with 800 meg at which point Windows updates downloaded into the into the tablet and it was waiting to be installed and when I restarted the system it almost it decided to fail updating probably because uh, when it when it, when when I got got back after it restarted after it said it failed the update there was only about roughly of oh, two three hundred max left so there was almost no more space left on the system drive at that point now the 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 in the main issue here is that is that this space while we can have a SD card where you, where you can install an SD card onto onto these tablets you can install applications desktop applications onto an SD card but you cannot redirect uh, there, as far as I know, there is right now for Windows 8.1, there is no way to redirect the modern UI apps. That means the apps you get from Windows Store into the SD card. So that means that you, there's no way for you to gain any extra, any, any extra space of your system drive. You can't just leave your system drive as, as for your system apps. If your all your modern, all your Windows Store apps have to be here. And that is a really big issue because this space here, this precious, precious space, it's not going to be enough if you have to install all your Windows Store apps into here as well. And so my, my advice here is that if you are buying, if you are going to buy one of these 1 gig RAM Windows tablets, look for one that comes with 32 gigs of storage. Because 16 gig of storage is really not working out. You really don't want to go go through with that. But if you have no choice and you got a got a 16 gig storage device, please look forward to my next video on how to customize the installation of Office 365 so that you can discard all the things that you don't actually need like publisher and access and outlook if you're not using it so that was my quick report on running windows 8.1 with one gig of ram 
and thanks for watching and I will see you all later